Okay, everyone. So I am going to be sharing with you how you're going to start your Pamper Jeff business page and your group and why you would like to do that. Um, so if you're a new consultant, this is one of the first things that you're going to be doing. And maybe you're an in-home consultant and you want to start your presence on social media for virtual parties and things like that. That would be another reason you might decide to do this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your business page. So if you're on Facebook, like I am right here on your main page here, you'll see at the left side, you'll see pages. This is what you're going to click on to to create your page. And you can see right here, there's a nice green button at the top that says create your page. And you're going to walk through that to create your um, business page. I need to update my cover photo and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. You can add a profile picture here too. Um, and I just recommend that you make this look friendly and professional. It doesn't have to be like professional in the sense that someone took it for you, like a headshot like mine is. You can just use a photo that you would use for your, your profile. Just make sure, you know, you, this is the face that you're putting in front of everyone to see when they see you. So just make sure that reflects that, that well. Okay, so let's say we want to have a nice little cover photo here. I'm gonna show you where you can find that. So if you go to Consultants Corner, which is our back office, this is where you're seeing all your training and things like that. So um, if you go to the left-hand side here, you're gonna see marketing imagery. This, my friends, is a gold mine. They have created the most beautiful images for us to use virtually on social media texting all those things and they make it really easy on us to do that so what i like to do to find cover photos is i just go to the search image and videos field right here and i type in the word cover and hit enter and it's going to drop down all of these images that you can use for your well i can see there's some here that don't but you can use your judgment here and choose something that works well for your cover photo. I think I'm gonna choose this one right here because it seems really seasonally appropriate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. And then I'm gonna pull it onto my desktop here. I'm gonna go back to my page and I'm gonna hit this right here, change cover upload I guess I guess you can do a video I I'm not aware of that but I'm just going to use that that video or the cover photo right there and it will save that for me so I'm going to hit save um, some people really enjoy using the seasonal specials so like for October you know obviously we've got these um, the stoneware piece and the pizza cutter um, and then you just need to remind yourself to update that at the first of every month. I would create a reminder on your, your phone um, or your Google Calendar or something like that to let you know that you need to go ahead and change that. I mean, these right here look like they would be perfect for um, like a Christmas or holiday season cover photo. We've got this one that has all of the promotions here. So there's a lot of great options and you can use these for your groups too, which I will show you. So I've got that all set up the way I like it. And then at this point, you can feel free to post in here, but you do not have to. Um, something that might be a good idea is I might take this right here, download that. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. I delete that, I don't need you anymore. And maybe I'll put it in here. Say something like, Check out this month's great specials. And this way, people who come onto your page will see the specials that are available and it lets them know that you've been updating the page. So if they see a special from July, they might come onto your page and think, hmm, maybe she isn't a consultant any longer and this is an old page. So you just wanna make sure that you're posting enough so that people don't assume that you're out of business. So this is uploading now and then I'm gonna pin it to the top. 
if I, I think, I'm pretty sure it gives me that option. Uploading, uploading, boy. And Okay, usually it doesn't take this long. It's probably because I'm doing this on Zoom. And it's in there somewhere. <laughs> so there it is, right there. Okay, great. Um, so another thing that you can do is you can do this exact same thing, only you can do videos. So uh, maybe you want to look up some a video of something. Let's do video. So you can actually select here that you want to do this. And maybe you want to download one of these videos onto your computer. And then you can upload them into your page. And all I do is I go over here to videos and I upload them in here. And you can see how many views you're getting for each of them. And what I really love doing is using these in my virtual parties. So I'm going to be creating a virtual party template video, how to create your own templates and things like that. So this will be included in that training. So if you um, want to see that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll be posting that soon. If um, you're seeing this in the future, uh, you can go ahead and look through my channel for that. But make sure you're subscribed because I do um, try to post stuff like this quite often. Um, so yeah, that's primarily how I use my business page is basically almost like a storage place for all of my photos and videos and things like that. And there's another really big reason you want to have a business page and we'll get into that. So I'm going to go back to my page, the main page. And then I'm going to go here. Now this is really important, really, really important. You want to select groups right here. Okay, and I'm gonna select that. And from here, I can create some groups. This is super important because you are going to want to make sure that any group you select in here is gonna be where you're doing your virtual parties. And we'll talk in a minute why you need to do this from your page. It's very important. But so I'm gonna create a group. And it's gonna automatically fill this in for you. But let's just say we're gonna call it the November Batch Party Group. Cool. And then it's gonna add you as the administrator of the page. It's automatically gonna invite you to the group. You may wanna invite your host into the group as well. Um, so we're gonna create that. And then, oh, look, I want to upload a photo. So maybe I'm going to come in here and find a cover photo that I like for my groups. If you're real fancy, you can go to Canva and you can, oh, wait, I don't want videos, images. If you're real fancy, you can um, go into Canva and update these cover photos. Maybe put like a, you know, some, like one right here, you could really easily add in some text information. Um, I really like the charcuterie one. So it shows a lot of products. It's really pretty and seasonal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that onto my photo. Okay, so while you want to make sure that over here you're interacting as the pampered chef, Linda Monroe, or whatever you've decided to name your page. Um, so I'm going to save this because you are able to change what people are seeing as you post. So if I post in here right now, it's going to be posting from interacting as pampered chef. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm posting in here and See how this is posting as myself right here. However, if I go over here and I change this to Linda Monroe, my profile page, I am no 
I'm, I'm no longer able to function as an administrator of the page. So I'm not going to be able to update the cover photo. I'm not going to be able to do anything like that. However, um, if I post in here, it is going to show it as posting as myself. See how that changes that? So what that means is if you want to go down through and in your virtual party to be commenting as yourself, then you're going to want to make sure you're interacting as yourself. If you want it to be interacting as your business page, then you're just going to want to check this. I believe if you are doing it from your phone, this button is going to be on the bottom right hand side. Okay. So <clears throat> it's really important that your group is set up from your business page because Facebook is really good about detecting whether something is spam or not. And anything that they deem as being like, you know, inhuman in the, in the sense that like one person cannot be two places at once. Whenever Facebook notices activity where you might be posting several places at one time, they're going to assume you're a robot and they're going to put you in jail, in Facebook jail. And you're not going to have access to your, your profile, to anything. You're not going to be able to comment, or, and it's very frustrating. And it's because Facebook doesn't want people on here, you know, spamming you. So it's not a bad thing that Facebook is doing. We just have to make sure that we're taking steps to see that, or to show Facebook that we are not robots. So one of the things that is going to help them understand the nature and the activity happening on your page is to create your groups from your pages. That way, when, you know, let me go back to my page. That way, whenever you have several, you know, groups happening, several virtual parties happening, that you're not like flagging them as being a spammer. So you'll see, I'll walk you through it. Whoops. Okay. Um, let me go back to my. So I'm going to go back to my groups and I'm going to show you like a, a virtual party I have going on. So, you know, we've got Kathy's here. She's got 30 members. So you can see that I, when I used post my party to upload my templates, then um, it posted for me as the pampered chef. And so then, you know, I replied as myself, but sometimes I'll go in and reply, uh, or I replied as my page. Sometimes I'll do as myself, you know, it just kind of depends. But um, so this is everything that posted for me in this group. And I did this uh, simultaneously with a different group. And I had no issues from Facebook, um, you know, flagging this as being um, like a uh, bad group. I don't know you know, spammer. We don't want to be that. Okay. So here's another thing I want to show you that is super important that you are, well, what am I doing? So that you need to make sure you're doing this because if you do not do this, you're going to have huge problems. So whenever you create your group, I'm interacting as myself because I am an admin. So you need to make sure that this is correct here before it lets you do this. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna edit group settings. And then I also recommend pinning it to your shortcuts so that it's over here, which makes easy access for you. Another really good idea is to create like bookmarks on the side here so that you immediately have access to them on the side. So you're not digging around through Facebook and trying to find them when you wanna like quickly enter into one of your groups. So we're gonna go to edit group settings. And here you can, kind of get creative with some of the badges. Um, I don't know why that's doing that to me, but whatever. <laughs> Here's the biggest thing you gotta do. If you do not do this, your show will, like you, you don't want this to happen. So right here, you see apps, and you're gonna select add apps. You're gonna wait forever and ever and ever, and this takes longer than my son does to put on his shoes in the morning, no big deal. So just know that that's normal, it's not broken. Do, 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 do. 
go make yourself a cup of coffee, <laughs> scroll through Instagram, respond to all those people who want to do parties with you. Ugh. We're going to wait. We're going to do it. Wait, wait, and wait. Okay. So, okay, there we go. See, it takes forever, but we got it. And then search in all apps here. Do not scroll through all of these. You will never find it. So we're going to search in all apps. We're going to search for post my party. There she is. And we're going to add post my party. Again, this is telling Facebook that post my party is allowed to post in this group. We're giving them authorization so they don't block them because again, they're trying to prevent spammers. So I also like to choose a fun color and I often pick one that's seasonal and that'll just kind of make it look nice and pretty. And then you're gonna to wanna to come down here and hit save. Okay, so this is all really important. It's a really easy step, but it's just vital if you're using a posting service to do that. And then, so my changes have been saved, good to go. We can go back in here and continue to do whatever we are doing. So that is how you create pages and groups. Um, so if you're doing this for the first time, I would recommend that your first group be your VIP group. So um, you can just go in and this is where you can start collecting your customers and putting them all in one place so that you can um, notify them of specials coming up. You can be a good resource of them for um, recipes and cooking demonstrations and specials and all that sort of fun stuff. So let me know if you found this helpful. If you have questions, please, um, please comment down below or shoot me a message if we're friends on Facebook. And I will be sure to help you with that. I hope that was helpful. And I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.